Chan. Hi everyone, how you doing? Welcome. My name is Venom. PlayStation 4 is the world's fastest selling console, but it's 2015 that it will really get into gear when a tide of new gen only games are released that take advantage of the hardware. Here is my look at the 30 most anticipated PlayStation 4 exclusives of 2015, including games that are console or family exclusives. Let's begin. The Order 1886 is set in an alternate reality of Victorian London. The guns and gaslight backdrop is so rich with a cross-pollination of ideas. Steam-powered electro shotguns, half-blood creatures, Sir Galahad and the Knights of the Round Table as a super police squad, and uh, class revolution. The latest build shows a graphics upgrade that is looking all kinds of wonderful. Playtesters at PSX report the shooting has a quality, weighty feel. It boasts an evocative musical score from Jason Graves, renowned for his Dead Space and recent Tomb Raider soundtracks, and also from Austin Wintry, known for the music on indie hit Flow and Journey. The Order 1886 is the perfect game to kickstart your new year on PlayStation 4. The father of Rayman has created Wild, a hugely ambitious survival adventure game set 10,000 years ago in a land of humans, animals and mystical beings. You can choose to be any creature and you can play any way you want. Wild looks set to be a refreshingly different and wondrous game. Resogun is one of the highest reviewed PS4 games. Now Housemark are back with a new twin stick shooter that promises even more frantic action. You play alone or co-op with friends to defend the world against the vicious alien horde. Spanish developer Tequila Works took their latest game to Sony after Microsoft turned it down for not having a multiplayer component. Expo's Loss is PS4's game. Rhyme is an open world adventure puzzle game and features a beautiful, cell shaded art style and a protagonist who channels the innocence and wonder of the horn boy in PS2 classic Ico. The Mediterranean light blue seas and sunshine beckon you to uncover its secrets. <laughs> Demon Souls and Dark Souls are both merciless action role-playing games that can drive you insane with their difficulty, but the payoff when you succeed is worth it. Now director Hidetaka Miyazaki is back with Bloodborne, a Sony-funded exclusive that takes this sub-genre into a Victorian-inspired gothic setting and ramps up the action making it faster and deadlier. Dragon Quest Heroes marks the long-awaited return of the historic franchise to PlayStation. However, it's not a standard sequel to the JRPG game. It's a spin-off, a more action oriented Musu game in the vein of Dynasty Warriors, but thankfully with more RPG gameplay. The success of the title could even open the door to the return of the numbered game.
Grim Fandango Remastered is a full visual upgrade of the Tim Schafer classic 90s graphic adventure. You play as Calaca-headed Manny Calavera, an afterlife travel agent stuck in a Mexican noir inspired land of the dead. The remastered edition features new textures, well, new lighting, and a new control scheme. Hey, Cali, how you doing? I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. The team at Ninja Theory are busy developing this Celtic tinged sword combat game focusing on Senua as she journeys through the underworld. The game is being developed on PS4 to take advantage of its hardware and will have its console launch exclusively on PS4. Hellblade looks set to be devilishly fun. The masters of the music game are back. Amplitude is a rhythm action game from Harmonix, based on their PS2 classic, reborn for the PS4 generation. Blast music games to free the music and play the music. The Witness is a 3D puzzle game that harkens back to Cyan classic Myst. Set on a mysterious island, it features 11 major regions with a series of brain teasers for you to solve. What with the movie release of Jurassic World, 2015 is set to put dinosaurs back in the limelight. Primal Carnage Extinction is a grisly multiplayer shooter set on a mysterious island overrun by prehistoric monsters. You can play as a mercenary or a vicious dinosaur. In early 2014, the PS Vita received a surprise hit with Oli Oli, a skateboarding tricks game. Oli Oli 2, Welcome to Hollywood, eschews the 8-bit graphics in favour of a more distinctive, stylized look. Insomniac have built a hit franchise from the Ratchet and Clank platform games. Now the team are reimagining the first title and making a brand new PS4 version set to release in unison with the upcoming CGI movie. Abzu takes players on an epic adventure underneath the depths of the ocean. Officially this game is set for an early 2016 release, however there are hopes that if development keeps proceeding at its current pace, it could be out before Christmas. Until Dawn could be the summer slasher movie of video games. The developers have created it using the tasty Killzone Shadowfall engine. The rampaging gameplay features a series of quick time events as you struggle to survive the night in a log cabin against a rampaging serial killer. I'm going to give you 10 seconds.
MLB 15, the show. San Diego Studios bring the excitement of baseball night direct into your home in one of the most critically acclaimed sports franchises ever. The team behind the Pixel Jump games have been working on something pretty unique. The Tomorrow Children is a Soviet themed sandbox title with community aspirations. You dig, you collect resources, you can develop your town and your comrades might thank you for it. New York, 2094. Deep Down is an action RPG that has procedurally generated areas to explore with cooperative play for two or four players. With more than a nod to the successful Demon Souls Dark Souls formula, the gritty combat and ferocious dragons should get your heart pumping. Mike Biffle, the creator of Thomas Was Alone, is back with a new stealth game that retells the story of Robin yep. of Loxley in this an exciting Tron-like 3D yes. environment. It features a unique voice cast, including Andy Serkis, Danny Wallace, and industry critic Jim Sterling. Forest is an indie open world survival horror game. You are a plane crash survivor on an island filled with insane cannibals. Unlike other games of the genre, the openness means you are free to play how you want. Craft, ride, hide or kill. It first appeared on Steam Early Access but will be a console exclusive on PlayStation 4. Be prepared for a game that is both intense and frightening. Everybody's Gone to Rapture is an open world game with a strong narrative focus. It has six main characters and is built with Crytek's own Cry Engine. However, so much of the game remains a mystery, including an intriguing new gameplay mechanic. Set in the near future, Let It Die is a hack and slash super extreme action game that takes the data gathered from other real world players and injects it into the behaviours of your adversaries. This free to play title features a female protagonist in a game world that is influenced by both Japanese and Western cultures. Disgaea 5 Alliance of Vengeance is a tactical RPG based on the theme of revenge. You must lead Kilia, a young demon, across the Neverworld to recruit overlords to join you in a battle to defeat the Void Dark. A Western release has been confirmed for Autumn 2015. Tease at Gamescom 2013. 
Shadow of the Beast is a modern remake of the 16-bit Amiga Mega Classic. It's set in Karamoon, a land of beauty and brutality. Developers Heavy Spectrum want to recreate a sense of wonder that comes from exploring a world of mysteries. Hotline Miami was a brutal homage to the 80s era with a top-down 2D game set on a backdrop of a vigilante battling organised crime. Hotline Miami 2 Wrong Number follows the violent aftermath and is the conclusion of the saga. Hit the Tearaway Unfolded is a retelling of the imaginative Vita platformer featuring Atoy on a fourth wall smashing mission to deliver an important message to the player, you. Retelling means new levels and ingenious interaction by the player to Atoy using the DualShock 4 while shining the light bar to illuminate levels and to pick up and throw objects between the two of you. This will be cute and clever. Persona 4 Golden is a very special JRPG, part school pupil sim, part supernatural murder mystery that opens up into a heroic quest that is literally magical. Persona 5 is exclusive to both PS3 and PS4 with the latter featuring enhanced visuals. Again in a school setting, its underlying theme is that of freedom and how the characters attain it. Street Fighter is a legend in beat-em-ups with a history that extends from arcades to the home. From past console generations to the future with the development of Street Fighter V. But right now, the latest version of this epic competitive series is Ultra Street Fighter IV. And you can start practicing your spinning bird kicks now. Let's have some fun. It's been a long wait, but Nathan Drake, the boss of third-person action adventures, is coming home. The latest gameplay video shows a beautifully detailed, realistically animated Drake, fiercer combat, and a large open environment with multiple paths. Oh, and the shocking reveal of a never mentioned family member. Uncharted 4 is it. This will be the game that will push the PS4 the most graphically in 2015. Who would have thought that the boy Sean Murray and his dreams of adventures amongst the stars could mature into the most ambitious indie game ever? and spark a frenzy across the entire computer and video game industry. No Man's Sky is a space adventure exploration and combat game that looks like it can recapture that wonder of when you first played games, that you can enter the game world and do anything and go anywhere. This is the one to watch. No Man's Sky will go stratospheric. This amazing breadth of genres and gold star quality of games is only available on PlayStation 4 in 2015. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button. 
and do subscribe for further PlayStation updates. See you next time. Cheers.